In this video, we're going to go over all the features that are available to you in the plus tier of the Karate IntelliJ IDEA plugin. Let's take a look at all the features on offer. The plus tier consists of the following features. Syntax coloring, running Karate tests directly from the IDE, support for Karate IntelliJ run configurations, enabling the structure view in IntelliJ for Karate files, automatic code formatting of Karate feature files, and the ability to access Karate test results directly from the IDE. Let's go over each of these features individually, starting with syntax coloring. So we're here in the IntelliJ IDEA IDE looking at a Karate test. We haven't yet activated the Karate plugin, and as you can see, all the code is the same plain color and is quite difficult and non-distinctive to read. I'm now going to enable the Karate plugin, so I'll click on Settings, then Plugins. On the Installed tab, we can see the Karate plugin that we have installed, but not yet activated. I'll click Enable to enable the plugin. Click Apply, then OK. And if I now go back to the same Karate feature file, we can see that syntax colouring has been added and the feature file is now much easier to read. Also, do be aware that if you have a custom colour scheme set up, the Karate plugin will respect that and adapt accordingly. The second feature of the plus tier for the Karate IntelliJ IDEA plugin is the ability to run Karate tests directly from the IDE. There are three different options available to you. You can run an entire feature file, so running all the test scenarios contained within that feature file, or you can run a single scenario within a feature file, or if you're using data-driven testing in your Karate feature file, you can even run individual examples of your data-driven Karate test. Let's look at each of these options individually. We can see that this Karate feature file contains several different test scenarios. To run all of the scenarios within this feature file, we can simply click on the play icon here next to the keyword feature and then click run simple and then the Karate plugin then executes all of the Karate tests for us. If you just want to run a single scenario within the feature file that can be done in a similar way. So I can just scroll down here to this scenario, I can click the button here next to the scenario word, choose run simple again. And this time we can see the Karate plugin will execute just that single scenario. This Karate test is using a scenario outline and data driven testing. If we were to run this scenario, the Karate plugin would execute a test for each of these examples. But the Karate plugin offers us the ability to execute just a single test for one of these examples. So if I mouse over number two here, I'm then going to right click and I'm going to choose run outline number 15. And we can see if we look in the test results that only that single test example was executed. The next feature available in the plus version of the plugin is support for IntelliJ run configurations. As per the IntelliJ documentation, run configurations are used for running tests with specific parameters. All the typical Karate options you need are supported, including things like control over the JVM parameters and the working directory. You can learn more about IntelliJ run configurations from the IntelliJ documentation. For now, let's take a look at an example run configuration for Karate in IntelliJ. So whenever you run a Karate test in IntelliJ, a run configuration gets created. So in the top right, let's click on Edit Configurations, and we can see the run configuration for this feature file. There's a few things that we can adjust here. We could set the karate.env parameter if we wanted to set the karate environment. We can specify tags if we only want to run tests with certain tags. We can specify the number of threads that we want our karate test to run on. We can specify specific karate options. And we can also set JVM parameters or other environment variables. So let's say we only want to run tests with the debug tag. So in the tags field here, I'm just going to add a tag for debug. I'll click on apply and OK. And that's going to close the run configurations window. So I'm now going to go down to one of my scenarios here and we're going to add that debug tag just above this single scenario. 
I'm now going to run this run configuration. So I just click play up here. And we can see from the test results that only the single test with that debug flag was run. If I now go and remove that tag from the run configuration, so I'll open my run configuration here, delete the debug tag, click apply and OK. And if I now run the run configuration again by pressing play again, this time we can see that all of the tests got executed. The next feature that the plus tier of the plugin offers is support for the structure view in IntelliJ IDEA. We can open the structure view by clicking in the bottom left hand corner of the IDE and we can see that the structure view shows us a nice breakdown summary of all the scenarios that are in the Karate file we currently have open. You can even click on any entry in the structure and navigate quickly to different parts of the feature file. The Karate plugin provides support for automatic code formatting of Karate feature files. The Karate feature file that we're looking at here has three different scenarios in it. But we can see that the formatting of the scenarios is misaligned. So for example, the scenario and background at the top are not indented correctly. And there is inconsistency in the formatting of the other lines. With the Karate plugin, we could format a selection of the Karate feature file. So for example, if we go down here, we could highlight this entire scenario. And then in the main menu, I'm going to go to code and click on reformat code. And then that selection will be formatted correctly for us. Or we could even format the entire document. So with nothing now selected, we can just right click on the file name in the project window and choose reformat code, then press OK on the window that pops up here. And we can see the whole document has now been formatted correctly. You can read more about how formatting of code works in the IDE, including the keyboard shortcuts in the IntelliJ documentation. The next feature of the plus tier of the plugin is the ability to access the Karate test results report directly from the IDE. So whenever we execute a Karate test, a detailed Karate test results report gets generated. So if I click run here, and then click run simple, the tests get executed by the plugin and we get a message that the test report is available at this location. Without the plugin installed, we need to open up a finder window or an explorer window and navigate around until we find this test result report file. But with the Karate plugin, we can simply click on the link here and the results report is opened directly in the browser for us. Now, once you've opened the test results report in your browser, if you run another test through the IDE with the plugin, you can simply click the refresh button in the browser to get the updated test results report. So if I go back to the IDE, and now open up this RESTful Booker feature file and then run those tests. I can now just go back to the browser, click refresh, and now I get the updated test results report. We hope you enjoy using the Karate IntelliJ plugin. Do remember that the plugin is in constant development and new features and functionality are being added all the time. For more details on all the features that we've seen in this video and how to see what new and upcoming features there are, be sure to check out the documentation at this address.